Hey, hi guys, welcome to another trading week. Um, last week was absolutely amazing. So much happened to us on the market. Uh, we had NFP on Friday. We actually caught about 300 points, 300 pips in a little bit under three hours. Amazing results for us. We closed the week with 378 points in profit. Amazing week for us. And uh, this week, we'll keep on doing the same thing. We'll keep on staying patient and waiting for our opportunities. Straight to the point, what am I seeing for this week? I'm trying to pull up the calendar over there for this week. Uh, this week starts late today, a couple of hours from, from now. I'm just trying to pull up the calendar there for you guys. <clears throat> So you can, as you can see, uh, we have a lot happening this week. Um, very, very clock kind of, very, very busy week for us. But we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll do what we keep on doing. We'll keep on reacting to this financial data. If I'm looking at the charts, um, especially I'm looking at DXY, what am I seeing? We were in this little consolidation zone over here. I told you guys last week, I actually gave you guys levels to wait for and uh that non-farmers payroll was so good uh, i'll show you guys the results for non-farmers payroll was so good um we had a 5.4 percent um decrease uh, a, a drop in the unemployment rate by 5.4 percent and the employment change also increased <clears throat> and the average earnings actually increased to 0.4 percent to 0.1 percent increase such good data for the United States and what do we see or what did we see we saw a breakout I zoom it in for you guys of this zone right a breakout of this zone very very strong push Marbuzo candle there for the DXY showing dollar strength and it created a room of opportunities for us so we're looking at things like gold gold actually tanked a lot um, I personally I caught this trade uh, we caught like 160 points on the channel it actually went for 364 points something like that dropped like two percent and uh a lot of pairs moved but what are we seeing right now if i scale this um dollar index down to a lower time frame like the one hour time frame you can clearly see that that it got to this resistance point around 92 836 and is forming some sort of a little range uh, we have a little range there i'll show you guys so we have this little range over here and uh, what do we do as traders uh, we have a structure and I'm going to set up a little zone there for you guys um, I'm going to give you guys the levels we have a little structure we do what we normally do we look at this structure and we'll just wait I'm not going to take out this rectangle down here because that's another structure that's a predominant zone that the market found itself in over a period of time we have that little structure over there and what are my expectations <clears throat> uh there's a lot of dollar strength if you look, you look at the trading channel over here on the daily chart it's an upward trading channel with the market doing continuous higher highs right the market is doing continuous higher highs what do i expect uh the two things uh market could uh extend and try to do another high here you know uh you could try to do another high there so if i'm marking out that zone potentially if it keeps on maintaining this strength we could expect this uh index to get to 93 400 over there and uh but before it gets to that point it will have to break out of this zone so the zones for you guys to watch for the dxy next week are these uh, you can always come back to listen you can always come back to this channel and actually look at these zones because I give you guys these zones every single week. You can mark it up in your charts and follow up. Trading is not just about listening to what another person is saying, another person's perspective of the market. It's actually being there at the right time to be able to see if the market is breaking out from these zones and making a move. So 92.754, I adjust this one for you guys. I actually have an alert there. 92 838 so you guys should watch out for these zones next week and of course pay special attention to the calendar looking at dollar cat dollar cat before fomc it was somewhere down here i'll show you guys it was somewhere down here um around this zone 
during FOMC, it literally just broke out. Uh, it broke out. I went all the way, right? So it broke out. I went all the way. We cut this trade as well. Uh, it broke out and went for uh, 75 points. Then, obviously, as market was losing um, data and people were cashing out their trades, it actually started retracing. So right now, if I'm taking my retracement tool, uh, I'm looking at something around uh, on the 15 minute chart though, 38.2% retracement. On a larger time frame, like a two hour time frame, um, let's see, let's try to measure retracement there. Zooming in for you guys, let's try to measure retracement there. So I have 38.2, I have 38.2 again, definitely, on the two hour time frame so our 38.2 is looking like a very very strong bounce area potentially we don't really know what's going to happen but 38.2 is a level uh, that um, most traders look at and you should pay attention so the market's around 38.2 but what i like to do is i like to set up a little structure right um we have a little structure over here um and for this week i like you guys to look at this structure dollar cad of this little structure over here so you guys you guys can look at um, 125 817 and 125 475 those are the zones I'll be looking at this week now when I'm saying I'm looking at the zone I'm expecting two things each time you're looking at the zone expect two things what's the tool the market can either break out retest and, and move like that in that direction or it can break out this zone and break the right down break down retest and go back in that direction whatever um, move the market is doing you have to react as a trader you can't be fixated in one direction right you have to be able to change because understand this market is a dynamic market looking at euro usd um a lot of weakness that we saw there first of all i'm going to show you guys my daily chart uh, it's a market in the downtrend it's a market that normally is in the downtrend dollar strength actually pushed this pair down so it actually broke out from this zone uh last week friday no 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 last week this week friday and uh, went for a little bit around uh, 76 points huh? dollar cap 75 this one about 76 75 76 around the same uh volume or momentum or level of movement so this week, what am I looking at? I'm going to scale it down to the 15 minute time frame because I'm looking for an area of structure. So I see some structure over there. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the zone. You guys should watch this area. So watch this zone. Um, for Euro USD, look at 1.17662, 1.17534. What do I think? I think the market is going to start moving a lot tonight. Um, so I'm in Cameroon. The time now in Cameroon is 1 p.m. Market opens here uh, 10 p.m. Cameroonian time because it's summer in Europe and the U.S. I expect 10 p.m. London time, Cameroonian time, because we share the same time zone. I expect this market to move a lot today because I mean NF NFP has, has passed. There's a lot of dollar strength. The pairs are gonna be running. So if you're a trader, uh, you should at least be up one hour after the market opens because typically when the market opens it starts moving after one hour so uh, you guys should take note about that last pair for the day i'm going to give you guys um i'm going to look for a pair that actually made a significant move uh if i'm looking at something like pound usd uh it's a pair that i trade a lot as well and it made a lot of movement uh last week uh it's still kind of in, a, in an era of consolidation but i traded it because after FOMC, uh, I'll show you guys, uh, the market was somewhere around here, right? The market was somewhere around there. The market was somewhere around there, broke out. So I, I took this short and I uh, really, really did well on this trade and I'm happy about what, the job I did. Uh, what do I expect? Um, I'm still going to give you guys the same area. I'm going to maintain this zone because the structure is still there. You guys should look at uh, one39 899 and 1.38397 so guys those are the zones uh, for for some of my favorite pairs that i like to trade you can see over here i trade a lot of pairs 
but I cannot go through all the pairs. If I go through it, it's going to become a class. And this channel was set up to give people my perspective of the dollar index and what I think or where I think the dollar is going to go to because my strategy is dollar based. Um, the summer sale for my course is still going on. So if you, you watch this channel, you can actually learn how to analyze like me and be able to do something that will pay you for the rest of your life. So guys, I wish you all a very, very happy trading week. Take care and talk to you guys again next weekend. Bye.